Just finished up our annual rally weekend down in the Ozark foothills. Four beautiful days of catching up with old friends, being introduced to new ones, and generally putting on a show for several thousand people that seems to become more and more popular as years go by. Like an old easy chair, it's pure comfort zone to me. This is recreation or recreation at its finest. In my everyday life and as a coach who likes to practice what I preach, I work at staying present. I try to avoid the habitual stuff I can do reactively that doesn't in the long run work very well for me. In words I think most of my viewers and readers will recognize, I work to stay in my learner-researcher mode, as opposed to the knower-judger side of me, that part of me that has been trained to finish all my food to belong to the Clean Plate Club, and talk over people in one-on-one -on -one conversations, and generally take charge when something needs to be refocused. The learner-researcher mode causes me to listen and stop and assess rather than react and judge. But recreation, or recreation, is the act of seeking out environments where the comfort zone is king. Good food, good drink, good people, very few rules. Or if there are rules, they're my rules anyway, or they're rules I'm already totally comfortable with. Recreation is that state which allows me to finish my plate, talk over people, take charge when I judge something's askew. It allows me to get off that learner-researcher treadmill and just be the me I was when I was eight years old, with all the rules of life comfortably cemented in place. And just like this comfortable old easy chair, it feels good. I'm pretty sure you have recreational environments where you can just be you, with no fear of challenging relationships or doing long-term damage to your reputation. Fortunately, this rally community knows me and tolerates me quite well, so I can get away with taking charge and talking over folks. They all have their foibles, too. I've learned that there are costs, though, to staying too long in the recreational comfort zone. Can you believe I could add 10 pounds in five days? I did. I finished many plates and many beers and many whiskeys, and I ate more baked goods in five days than I eat in a month, and it felt great, like an old easy chair. But now, if I want my life to get back on track, it's back to the learner-researcher mode and doing the work of staying present, listening, working out, leaving some food on the plate, holding my tongue, and maybe I can get rid of this recreational 10 pounds before next month's moment of clarity. It's Kim, and this is another Comfort Zone Moment of Clarity.